tonight's video, we'll be looking at scary and creepy TikToks that keep me up at night. Smiling soldiers, huh? Shell shock. State of craziness. Oh, that's what that is. Woman greeting a man by the hand. That was T.W. Trigger one. When you take the meaning of the word pyramid, pyra, meaning fire, mid, meaning middle, the whole definition of the word pyramid is fire in the middle. Yo, I never knew that. I literally, I never knew that pyramid means fire in the middle. Traditional Egyptologists have said that the Great Pyramid of Giza was used as a burial chamber. But we have never found that, a though. mummy or any hieroglyphs inside. Right. We found several chambers which do not appear to have any real use. Could it be that fire in the middle is referring to the pyramid's internal chambers being used as some kind of energy source? And in fact, mm. the real purpose of the pyramids is laying there waiting to be discovered. <laughs> Watch if you get scared easily. Dan had always been a rational man. He was an engineer by profession and had a logical explanation for everything he encountered in life. But lately, something strange had been happening to him that defied all rational explanations. One day, while he was at work, he noticed a drop of water fall from his hand onto his desk. He looked up, but there was no source of water anywhere in the room. That would be he creepy. wiped the water away with a tissue and thought nothing of it. But it kept happening. Everywhere he went, drops of water would fall from his hand at random intervals. Sometimes it was just one drop, other times it was a steady stream of water. He couldn't explain it, and it started to make him feel uneasy. Dan tried to ignore the strange occurrence, but it became increasingly difficult as he realized that every time a water drop fell on him, somebody would die. He couldn't understand the correlation between the two, but the evidence was overwhelming. It started with his neighbor's cat, who died suddenly from an unknown cause. A few days later, a co-worker who sat next to him at the office collapsed and died of a heart attack. Dan was terrified. He felt like he was cursed and that he was somehow responsible for the deaths of these people. He tried to keep to himself and avoid contact with others, but it was impossible. The drops of water kept falling, and with each one came the inevitable death of another person. As the weeks passed, Dan became increasingly paranoid. He started to see signs of water everywhere he went. The sound of dripping taps made him shudder, and he would avoid anything that even remotely resembled water. His friends and family were worried about him, but he refused to tell them what was happening. He was afraid they would think he was crazy. One night, Dan woke up to find his bedroom flooded with water. He scrambled out of bed and tried to find the source of the water, but there was none. It was as if it had come from nowhere. He was soaked to the bone, and as he stood there, shivering and bewildered, he knew that somebody else had died. He knew he had to find a way to break the curse that had taken over his life. He sought the help of a psychic, who told him that he was being haunted by a water poltergeist. The entity was drawn to him and used him as a conduit to bring death to others. Man, Follow that's crazy. Line for BT.2. Yo, that is crazy. I mean, this man probably dirty and stinking and everything because he's scared of water. Imagine if one little drop falls on your hand and somebody dies, right? You're scared and you're nervous to touch water. So imagine trying to get in the shower. <laughs> You're going to think the world going to end, man. Yo, that's just messed up. Freaks out. Boy. Satan is using gone. NASA to deceive everyone. Watch this. First off, type in flat earth backwards into Google and put dot com at the end. See where it takes us. Oh, NASA.gov. Now that's just the tip of the iceberg. 
Let's dive deeper. So we all know this is how the Bible explains the Earth. But according to NASA, it looks something like this. Now I'm about to use the Bible to show you how NASA trolled everyone. So this is from the book of Genesis. This is when Satan deceived Eve to eat the apple. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me. The serpent is Satan. Now what does this word beguiled mean? And in the Hebrew translation of the Bible, beguiled translates to NASA. So NASA means to deceive. Ooh. Now remember, it was the serpent who beguiled Eve. Take a look at NASA's logo. That red thing is a serpent mm. tongue. Search up serpent on Google. A large snake, a sly or treacherous person, especially one who exploits a position of trust in order to betray it. There is no space. We need to hold NASA accountable. We're giving them 26 billion of our dollars every year. Every year. For them to sit around and create CGI pictures. It's time something is done about it. Like and follow for more. Yo, it's time we cut the grass and get these snakes out of here, man, if that's the case. I never thought about that with the NASA logo, the two little red things. You know, it never even struck any curious thought in my mind as to think, what could that be? But now that he says that, now I'm going to be looking all the time, man. Can I show you a scary video? What is it? Oh. I'm not googling any of those. That face is, and I'm finna tell you who the fuck that really is, cause it's not Jesus. His name is Cesar Borgia. Mm-hmm. Hello, my friend. So that is completely incorrect. So this conspiracy theory presents this idea that uh, the depictions of Jesus that we're all familiar with are actually based on Cesare Borgia, who was a patron of Leonardo da Vinci. Did Leonardo da Vinci ever draw Cesare? Yes, we have one confirmed illustration. And this is it. As you can see, not very much like the depictions of Jesus we're used to. Wait, what? What? That literally looks just like all depictions of Jesus that we're used to. The tradition of depicting Jesus as a European appearing man with a beard and long brown hair actually goes back centuries to the Romans. This is a 4th century depiction from the Roman catacombs. And this is shortly after from the 5th century. People gotta stop dragging Da Vinci into all these conspiracy theories, man. Let my man rest in peace. <laughs> What? What's wrong with you? <laughs> what? It broke my arm. Burger? Oh no. I think somebody made that video, y'all. You know, I feel like a lot of these TikToks, people be making scary things and then they try to scare us with it. So take some of these with a grain of salt. But that last one, I don't know how real that was. No, 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 no. Oh, snap, she on fire. Oh, oh, what's going on here? Oh, look, 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 he catching on fire. No way. Leave my lights alone. That's that dancing lady. She out there sea walking, y'all.
who wants to walk down a dark tunnel like this? It's giving me chills right now. So it looks like somebody living down here, wherever they're at, in a cave somewhere. Abandoned subway or something, I don't know. No way. Did y'all see that? so dark I can't really see she crazy man what's about to happen man I ain't gonna lie, I'm nervous. Bill. Bill. Oh, it's really nice to meet you, Bill. I'm Holly. And, and that's Jeff. You have a last name, Bill? Are there other people that live down here with you? Did you say rat man? Are, are, are you the rat man, Bill? Oh, okay. Um. What the heck? Thank you. Mm. Um, I'm going go. to leave you my business card. Oh, wait. Here. She tripping. I'd love to um, follow up. <laughs> I'm out of here. Mm. I'm going to start chasing you or something. Bro, oh my God, why they get me like that? Child was whispering to someone before drawing what he saw. Ghosts? Elliot, what are you doing? Hey, you gotta always believe your kids, for real. Like kids see ghosts. What's that? What's that in the corner? Oh, why have you drawn that? Oh, really? What does he do? Why? Oh, oh man. Okay. The road glitches. Why does the road change? that sunlight <laughs> is there somebody outside his window he oh, get it nah. <laughs> but ain't nobody there oh no scary phobia do not even try the team of marine science majors are testing sharks in the ocean 
One of the students dived into the iron cage. The iron cage was very thick, but the shark was able to break it. Until now, the identity of the student is unknown whether he is still alive or not. Somebody died in here. Oh, no. For you people who like to go swimming with sharks. Nah, man. Try again. I'm good. I'm straight, man. Keep me on the land. I'm not going out there in the ocean like that. I'll go on a boat and stay on the boat, maybe. But I'm not going in the water out there. Like, I might get my feet wet in the sand, but that's about it. As long as my feet can touch something, I'm straight. There is a body. Well, they're probably not anymore, but... It's bones. A body in the bottom. Look, no, I'm sure they have see. a They found a... Oh, wow. Can't even see they the body. found a body yeah. down there. Uh... Let me turn my light on. You can see. Actually, it shows up pretty good on camera here. There is something at the bottom of that freaking well. Whoa. <clears throat> Watch I this. That is. Isn't it? Future in hand. <laughs> For 130 abandoned flats, and there is something in the window. Uh, open. Yo. You see movement then? Yeah. Move the light. Yo. Yo. Oh. The fuck is that? I know y'all seen that. And they going in there. Poltergeist activity caught on camera. See, uh-uh. Uh, what's that movie? Uh, Paranormal Activity? Yo, that movie had me spooked when I was younger. Man, I, I remember there was one, one point in the movie, I literally, I jumped out of my seat in the movie theater amongst all these other people. And I'm the only one that jumped up. That feeling right there. Nah, man. <laughs> Look at the drawer opening. Y'all believe in ghosts? Let me know if y'all believe in ghosts or not. If y'all have ever encountered any of this paranormal activity. I never have personally. I hope I never do. Another bird stuck in the sky. Glitched out. It's just so weird because it should be moving. Yeah, I don't see any like.
think I found that ghost and stuff, but hopefully they're still coming though, because they might not be coming anymore. Okay, so it's right there. Zoom in. So this tree. Oh, oh there's a tree in my window. Perfect timing, hasn't it? Okay. Really so you're right, his camera skills is all uh, over the place right now. Uh, I'll point at it for you. Where at, where at, where at? The, the top beacon. The, I can't give up. Can we still? Yep, I just saw some. Which one, y'all? That uh, big bush. That big one. Back. And probably about... The... Just tell Yo, me you can't see it. You see this big bush, top rat, top rat big bush. I'm just gonna leave the camera there for a bit, and hopefully you guys can see some ghosts. I don't know if there's any ghosts anymore. They might have all gone. Or... I don't know. I do not know. So they yeah, should this be really there. Rat bush. That top rat bush. And we're just gonna put it up and zoom at it with that. There we go. It's top rat right bush. Right. Oh, the camera keep going down, man. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I seen Did something. See that? I seen. I seen that. I seen it. Ooh. Zombie apocalypse. ¿Es real este video? Oye, 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 en la cámara, oye, en la cámara está pasando ahorita una niña corriendo. Oye, la niña que llora. Oye, te juro que en la cámara está pasando ahorita corriendo una niña. Oye, ha corrido hacia acá. Oye, te juro que ha pasado ahorita una niña corriendo. Ahorita mira, te voy a hacer el video. ¿Tú qué opinas? There'll be some crazy stuff caught on camera. Oye, 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 en la cámara, oye, en la cámara acá le pasó ahorita una niña corriendo. Oye, la niña que llora. Oye, te juro que en la cámara acá le pasó ahorita corriendo una niña. Oye, ha corrido hacia acá. Oye, te juro que ha pasado ahorita una niña corriendo. Ahorita mira, te voy a hacer video. Hey everybody, Pastor Aaron here. It's my pleasure just to announce that we this Sunday will be oh, will be uh, open. What? The? Okay, we're we're uh, we've been trying to do this announcement several times today already, and uh, three times that podium back there has fallen over on its own, and it's. Oh, uh, no. It's stable. I mean, it's not wobbly at all. 
it's uh, kind of like the... there you go again that, uh, podium has been wobbling okay so there's we checked the vent there's a vent there that is not an air duct that has any forced air at all so it can't be wobbling from that um, there's absolutely no breeze in here you can see by the banner there there's this no, no air conditioning it's these things they're off I don't know so I'm just gonna sit here and watch for a little up. bit and uh, we will I'll see if it does it again I need some HD video look look the flags moving now Ooh, that thing's moving that hasn't been moving. Oh, That's never new. mind. This is crazy. Seriously, nothing else. There's no breeze. It's moving again. Good grief. No. That's crazy, y'all. Yeah. What they playing? A Ouija board? No, I ain't messing with that. See, we're not messing with too many No way. I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Hey, they spooked. I got goosebumps. <laughs> he was so scared, yo. That's crazy. Back to that random nodding spot. Brought a flashlight as a weapon this time. As you can see, there's no one around me. I'm trying to go quick so that I don't waste too much time. The spot's right up there. I had to go. There was too much water on the other side, so I had to find my way back. So there's the cave, and then there's more of those fucking drawings. You get these drawings. Are I should just grab them all really quick if they have messages on them. They, mm. like, those they just like found symbols. little drawings. I'll just go let them look quick so that maybe they can help me figure out what they mean. Maybe there's a meaning to them. Who does these so little paper drawings around? Alright, so I grabbed everything. I don't really see anything else. So like... Uh oh, look at the little thing walking. Is that a person? I don't know, that was kind of small. And it's walking a little funny too. Hmm. I wonder if that, I don't know what that is. What y'all think? Oh no. I can't call it. No, 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 no. This is supposed to be abandoned. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alta luz, eh? Something crazy in the sky. No way. Hey, everybody out there watching it. Tanto viendo el lucecito allá adelante. This just goes unexplained, man, forever. What's this? See that thing right there? Oh, whoa. me out. I, yo, I'm not gonna lie. If I'm in the woods and I see this, I'm going to be so terrified. Like, I'm gonna be stuck. I ain't gonna know what to do. I'm gonna have to, like, you gotta make the first move. Cause I'm running in the opposite direction of where is that thing going? Going on seven years. 
and walked a hundred miles through these woods. Never seen that sheep before right there. See it. It's kind of funny. It's just sheep. there. It wasn't here earlier. Yeah, no, it's not a stump. It's not a broken tree or whatever. I don't know. It looks like it's connected right there. This is a sad update for the Titan submersible that went to explore the ruins of the Titanic. If you don't know, this vessel carrying five passengers went down to explore the Titanic. An hour after descent, it lost communication. It has finally run out of oxygen. And the US Coast Guard just confirmed the passing of the five passengers. If you want to know more about it, like some scary theories as to what happened, and learn, you know, the safety features, why it wasn't actually safe, and everything all like that, then you have to check out this video. I just posted it. Link in bio. It'll explain everything. And hey, what y'all think about that whole submarine thing, right? It was a little bit, it was just weird how they were rolling out the news, you know? So it's a little bit crazy. And then they confirmed everyone to be gone, but I don't believe they ever found anybody, you know? They just uh, said that it imploded or whatever, but hey, I'm not a marine biologist. I don't know nothing about the ocean like that. You know what I mean? So, hey, could be true. Link facts. I in your house and no one's around to feed your pets? They'll start with your squishy parts, being your ears, eyes, nose, and even lips. This actually happened to an older woman. The only difference was she wasn't dead. She was just paralyzed. You are 120 times more likely to be killed by a family member if you win the lottery. When decapitated, you're actually alive for three more seconds before you end up dying. Mike has enough poison to kill 10 to 15 people in its lifetime. This frog is known as the Poison Golden Dart Frog, and it's located in the Pacific coast of Colombia. By just barely touching this frog, it'll secrete enough poison to kill a grown man in 10 to 15 minutes. Brain-eating amiibos exist, and they're living in our water. Naglary Flowlary, a brain-eating disease, is found in warm lakes, rivers, and of course, untreated swimming pools. This amiibo enters your body through your nose, and travels up to your brain from there. Over 97% of these cases are fatal. Mole on the headboard in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Disneyland is real. This is the youngest mother in history. Lena Medina was five years, seven months old when she gave birth to her six pounds. What? Is that even biologically possible? How old did they say she was? Five? No, man. No way. I'm, I'm not believing that. Son. A woman donated her kidney to her boss to save his life. He then fired her because it took her too long to recover from the operation. That's what you call a bad person. These are videos you can never watch at night. Okay, so we all know how there's some videos that you just can't watch at night because they're that scary. Well, in this series, I'll be showing all of those videos, so be ready to get terrified. Okay, the video I'm about to show you is captured from a dash cam inside of a cab in Japan. And it clearly shows a ghost getting inside. And apparently in Japan, the ghosts of the people who died in the 2011 tsunami don't know they're dead and they get into taxis confused. This video is absolutely terrifying and here it is. I know y'all seen that. So did he not know? Okay, so that's absolutely terrifying. I don't know what to think about this, but all I know is I'm not sleeping tonight. So apparently Disney World is haunted. There are park oh. attendants that claim in the Mission Space ride in Disney World, you can see ghostly figures. I talk about it in today's episode, but this actually makes a lot of sense. So when Mission Space first opened, it was the most controversial ride ever opened in Disney's history. If you've never ridden the ride, it's a motion simulator that simulates a trip to Mars. The original version doesn't exist anymore, but when it opened, it was so intense. In the first three years alone, 194 people had the paramedics called. Whoa. They were getting sick, they were dizzy, people were passing out, and all Disney did was add barf bags and a motion sensor warning. But because of that, two people ended up dying on the ride, including a little boy. And park attendants who have worked on the ride say that it's been haunted ever since. Especially in Bay 3, where a ghostly figure of a little boy can be seen running around. They also say that one day, just a tiny handprint appeared on one of the vents. 
The ride also reportedly has a ton of technical issues, but if you say the boy's name and ask him to stop playing, apparently they stop. I shared that and more mm. real-life scary stories on today's episode, so make sure you check it out. Edwin Becker was born in Chicago, Illinois in 1945. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chi-Town stand up, Illinois in the building. Natural, and most people treat the subject lightly. Most people are skeptics and are not interested or concerned in the mysterious things which sometimes occur around them. However, today we have the story of one family which says it was forced into becoming concerned. Strange things begin happening. Lights would go out, and electrical problems plagued the house. Doors would open and close on their own, and kitchen objects would shift across the countertops. Getting creeped down now. We tried to find a logical explanation for everything that happened, and uh, we couldn't. Edwin and Marcia were awakened by the disembodied crying of an old woman in the dining room. Hmm. The only thing they could both agree on was that the house needed to be exercised. The NBC news crew later arrived, and their work led to the first U.S. television broadcast of an exorcism. <laughs> what? Have you ever tried the Charlie Charlie Challenge? If not, then listen closely. To summon Charlie, you must take two pencils or pens, forming a plus sign on paper. Then, in each corner of the paper, diagonally opposite each other, you write yes and no. Then the stage is set, the scene is ready, and now it's time to invite our ghostly guest. By asking, Charlie Charlie, are you there, the spirit of Charlie is supposedly called upon. Charlie, if present, could choose to answer your yes or no questions, supposedly spinning the top pencil to point to his responses. But beware, this game is reportedly dangerous and potentially even deadly. AI is getting at- Charlie Charlie are you and and here's why about a week ago a mother living in arizona received a phone call and when she answered it was her daughter crying and begging her mother to save her she was obviously confused and terrified and when she questioned her a man got on the phone he demanded one million dollars or else her daughter would get harmed she was absolutely horrified it was a parent's worst nightmare but then she remembered her daughter was actually upstairs. It turned out a random guy was using AI to scare and to scam people. If AI could do this, who knows what other terrifying things it could do. But my question is, what do you guys think? I'm sorry, NASA AI just found crazy. what? Oh god, what's happening now? Oh god. This is a NASA spacecraft which is 19,000 feet above the surface of Jupiter. Now you probably know Jupiter is huge as a gas planet and it's a bloody long way away. Take a look at this photo which the spaceship captured today. A mysterious green light coming from the planet, like what the hell is that? Apparently it's believed to be lightning, but who actually knows? This hasn't been proven yet and people are still looking into it, but who knows? Hit that follow button and I'll we'll keep you up. Yo, my bad, I'm pressing it too many times. Check it out, y'all. They're trying to tell you that they captured some lightning all the way on Jupiter, but we can't capture something on the moon whoa whoa who are they trying to fool here with that one updated have you ever heard of cargo cult no world war one there's soldiers moving across different countries in different areas and they go to make camp one time they meet an indigenous tribe well they trade things with them like medicine food yeah these like you scratch my back i scratch you exactly and these indigenous people saw how advanced these soldiers were you know what my thoughts are on these pictures, right? Because this is what they show as an indigenous person. I feel like this is like maybe a ritual or some type of ceremony or event in whatever country they're in, right? And they may look like this for a day or two or however long the event lasts. And then they may go back to dressing the normal way, right? Because a lot of these, man, I feel like these pictures would be extra or like they try to shine a certain light on a certain type of people to try to portray them a certain way right 
savages you know? and like their medicine helped them live longer and all these advancements and they thought that it was a gift from a gift from yeah. above mm -hmm. eventually after the war ends these soldiers leave but these indigenous people don't really understand it like yeah. why these people just left and they want them to come back yeah because so they, they took all their stuff with them exactly huh? and so they actually recreate a lot of the stuff they saw at the time when the soldiers were visiting they've made airplanes Does not workable work? ones oh but like they've made like life-size looking like airplanes out of like bamboo and all these other things they've made a satellite a huge oh, satellite that's crazy with like hay and there's even a video of them with flames and everything making like a runway with a person like oh. doing this trying to think like maybe if, if they, they do, do that this, it'll make it happen th they'll come back that is so sad this is a haunted city hidden beneath edinburgh and despite my best efforts my bosses are sending me underground to what has been described by the bbc as one of the most haunted places in britain these are the south bridge vaults buried under the city is a labyrinth of tunnels where the seedy underbelly of 18th century edinburgh thrived they were yo we literally have cities underneath cities and they're showing us right here they're talking about its storage and stuff man that probably was a whole building like look these got numbers on them man and probably addresses or something underneath the cities Originally created as storage vaults for the businesses above ground, but they were soon taken over by people seeking shelter or criminals seeking concealment. And this place was not somewhere you came to live, but somewhere you came to die. The vaults are dark, damp, and freezing cold. They used to be lit with fish oil lamps, which combined with the stench of stale waste and chamber pots made them barely habitable. And yet, it is estimated that over 3,000 people live down here. And there seems to be some people left behind. The cobbler is a ghost who has been seen working in this corner. He particularly hates people with white shoes like me because it meant you were rich enough to be carried through the streets in one of these 18th century taxis and worst of all is the watcher he's said to be seen standing in the corner just staring and watching but the longer you linger the more aggressive and territorial he becomes and many people have been sick and emerged covered in bruises and scratches have a good day why is the government trying to hide giants from us in may of 1912 at lake delawin wisconsin a lost race of giants was dug up at a burial mound site. It is said that the skeletons had six toes and six fingers, resembling the Nephilims mentioned in the Bible in 2 Samuel chapter 21, verse 20. Well, you see, giant bones are not a new finding. But what is really strange is that every one of these findings, the State Museum will show up and collect the bones, and they will never be heard or seen from again, and maybe even destroyed. With all that is being hidden from us, the question we should be asking ourselves is, what else does the discovery of giants hold for humanity? And... Proof that animals are evolving. Part 13. A killer whale off the coast of Washington once started the trend of wearing a dead salmon on its head. Other orcas in the pod started doing it too, and soon enough other pods in the area had picked up on the fad. The behavior had faded by the next summer, making it one of the first cultural trends ever observed in nature. Yeah, orcas are smart. I feel like orcas is probably smarter than humans in all honesty. Like, their brains is like huge and they probably communicate in ways that we don't know. But they be like coordinating attacks and stuff now. They be attacking boats and stuff. It's crazy. Here's an amazing video of a rat using a stick to set off a trap so that it can safely snag a tree. As a result of all the rats we've killed with traps over the centuries, we've basically forced them to start evolving toward the usage of tools. That's this crazy. thoughtful otter at a Chinese aquarium is more helpful and productive than most people you'll ever work with. This is just one example of why otters are said to be one of the smartest animals in the water. Animals That's are smart, adorable. Yeah. The U.S. Navy's Marine Mammals Program has started teaching California sea lions how to play video games. The program has trained over a hundred sea lions and dolphins in underwater tasks that they can perform better than humans. These games seek to improve not only their cognitive function, but also their mental health and happiness since they genuinely enjoy playing them. You may have seen you- I mean, who doesn't enjoy playing video games, right? You put a PlayStation in front of your children, they'll play it all day. That doesn't mean it's good for them though, right? You know, like, oh yeah, they'll have fun for sure, but They'll be overstimulated like crazy, and then they'll be addicted to the game. So, I don't know if I agree with that one, but it is crazy. I mean, animals are smart. I don't know why people think animals are dumb. You know, like they can't do things humans can do. You know, it's just, we're different beings.
News saying that NASA has issued a warning suggesting a solar storm might be about to knock the entire internet offline. But here is the real story. NASA has the Parker Solar Probe to study the sun with a focus on solar wind. They recently flew this probe just 13 million miles above the sun's surface and they found some good evidence helping to explain the origin of this solar wind. They found coronal holes on the sun's surface, similar to a showerhead. But instead of spraying water, it sprays the solar wind. This combined with the fact that we are entering the next solar maximum right now, led some people to believe that the sun might shoot a huge coronal mass ejection at Earth soon, knocking us offline. While this is possible, there is no evidence of this happening anytime soon, so you really don't have to stress. Oh no, 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 silly. But it exploded, and they were both found dead. She Saw 3 has the most brutal traps of the entire franchise. Let's start off with the rack. This man is strapped into this machine that is twisting his limbs one by one mm -hmm. a complete 360 degrees around. It does his arms, his legs, and then finally his neck. Very slow, very brutal way to go. But then we have the angel trap where this woman has these fishing lines stuck inside her for rib cage and it's going to rip out each one of her rib bones. Mm. Is this more instantaneous? Yes, but oh my gosh, the horror of before it happens. I can't even show you a full picture of this, but the classroom trap also. The man has several hooks piercing his skin that he has to rip out of his body in order to escape. Yes, this trap ends up being rigged, there is no way for him to escape, but still, it's incredibly painful in the moment. Then we have the man who is strapped to the bottom of a pit and poured pig guts all on top of him, where if he doesn't escape in time, he will drown in guts. And then you have the woman that's being frozen solid. True agony, I can't pick one. Let's talk about one of the <clears throat> creepiest movies I have ever seen, Wesera, the Bone Woman. The visuals on this movie are nightmarish. I just felt so uneasy with certain scenes, but let me- That's nasty, man. I'm still thinking about that saw stuff, y'all. Ugh. Man, that movie is crazy. Like, and they keep making the movies, too, which is what's wild. Like, I think I only watched, like, the first two, maybe three, and I was done after that. Like, that stuff's horrifying. You know, like, just imagine you wake up and you gotta deal with fishing lines in your ribs. What? Let me tell you about it. Wesera is a Mexican horror movie from 2022 that's about a woman who's expecting her first child but then starts to notice that something is after her and her unborn child. Specifically like dark magic type of stuff. This movie has a 98% on Rotten Tomatoes, but it's kind of low scored on the other things. But listen, this movie has the creepiest visuals I've ever seen. Like the things that end up chasing her look extremely uncanny valley. And there's also really good drama that I did not expect. One of my community members even said that it was literally like a horror telenovela, okay? So it's it's that good. And I hope I'm not being biased because I haven't been impressed by a Mexican horror movie like this in a good while. So listen, if you want to watch something that's going to keep you entertained and creeped out, please check out Wesera. As of now, it's available on Shudder. I do want to say that Shudder has been killing it with these exclusive movies. Um, so I'll be reviewing more of those. Okay, check it out. Check out what's it out. Check it out. Mandela effects in movies you've never heard of. Darth Vader doesn't say, Luke, I am your father, and the Empire strikes back. Everyone seems to remember the line wrong. The real line is, no, I am your father. No, I am your father. In the iconic 80s Whoa. movie Jaws, the line, we're gonna need a big boat, is actually, we're gonna need a bigger boat. You're gonna need a bigger boat. In the movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the quote, mirror, mirror on the wall, is actually, magic mirror on the wall. Magic mirror on the no This way. is the most disturbing and heartbreaking video you will ever watch. Okay, so what I'm about to show you is the 911 call made by a five year old girl after she found both of her parents dead. This is just completely heartbreaking, and here's the video. Um, hello. Hello. Is everything okay? Um, yeah, honey, I'm fine. Do you have any questions? Uh huh. I think there's a bullet on the floor. Where's mommy at? She, I. This is sad. No. Okay, your daddy's on the floor. How old are you? I'm five years old and I have a dog in the house. Okay, baby, okay. <laughs> Let me get something right over to you. Did you did you go in your mommy and daddy's room? 
There's a night. Yo, that's got to be one of the most craziest jobs to have. Like to answer the 911 calls and have to talk to people who are going through stuff like that. <clears throat> I couldn't even imagine, y'all. That whole thing was just sad. I didn't even really. It's like, that's not scary or creepy, man. They got going on nightmare in the well. Let's talk about a nightmare of a game that left quite an impression on me. Lily's Well. Full playthrough of this terrifying game right here. This game is all about a girl named Lily. One day, Lily hears someone crying for help at the bottom of a well outside of her home. And even though her dad isn't here, she still decides that she wants to go out and try to help. Basically, you have to go around Lily's property and collect objects that can be used as a rope. And at any time, you can use these rope-like objects to try to make your way down the well. The well is very deep though, and not all of the ropes work. Each time you fail, you get a disturbing death animation and you have to start over. However, the deeper you manage to go into the well, the more you realize that something is wrong. What lies at the bottom of this well is not only horrific, it's genius game design. And don't worry, we'll talk about the ending. This is why you always lock your door in the game. Will from Will Whereabouts was camping in the middle of the woods in Box Hill, UK. I think this will do for tonight's stealth camping. <laughs> Freezing cold! That'll be a good way just to get some heat in here in the mornings and in the evenings when it really does start to drop. I've decided to put my gas portable stove just sitting on the boxes which it goes in because I'm going to spark it up and get a bit of nice warm air to come through. When suddenly, late at night, he's awoken by what sounds like human voices. I don't think I'm going to be getting much sleep tonight. Will explains he was all alone in that site. So what exactly made them? This is the last photo ever taken of Sophia McKenna. Shortly after this photo was taken, she disappeared and was never seen or heard from ever again. So Sophia McKenna was a 21 year old from Connecticut. So her and her friend Spencer had found out about this lighthouse off of the coast of Connecticut, supposedly haunted, right? They decided to go and explore it super late at night one night. All the investigators know is that they found Spencer's t-shirt tied the like a handrail on the lighthouse and between 205 a.m. and 209 Sophia's mother received seven missed calls from a number she didn't know which then turned out to be Spencer's number very strangely there were also two other people who ended up going missing that same night in that exact same area and a little while later Spencer and these two other people's bodies ended up washing on shore but McKenna has never been found or located at all it's just crazy that this lighthouse which has been known to be very haunted they decided to do it one of them is no longer here the other has not been seen or heard from in five years well y'all maybe we shouldn't be going into haunted houses all the time because clearly they didn't come out of that mud man this film was cursed by the devil 
On June 6, 1976, a film called The Omen was released, which angered the evil of the world. Well, you see, even though the film's producer has warned countless times that the devil's greatest single weapon is to be invisible, and he's not going to want that to be taken away from him. The story exposing the devil's work was too compelling to pass up on. Coincidence or not, what followed were a series of tragic events, from stuntmen and animal handlers being brutally killed, in mysterious plane crashes, to actors coming to near-death situations that delayed production. It wasn't an understatement to say that the devil didn't want the film to be made, even though this film enjoyed a stellar success at the box office. So, maybe it was true that... Hey, some of that bad energy, y'all. Uh, nah. Can't be doing that. Japanese yokai, Jiki Ninki, the human eating ghost. Jiki, Ninki. Jiki Ninki are spirits who eat the bodies of the deceased. They have sharp, pointed teeth which are used to peel the flesh off the bodies. Jiki Ninki are usually found near villages, abandoned temples, and old ruins. They sneak into temples when the dead are there for funerary prayers. They despise their existence and do not find pleasure in eating the dead. It is just a temporary relief for their eternal hunger. Nom 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 nom. He was exploring a haunted park when he captures a statue doing this. A man named Alan Mora went to explore the Reino Magico Disney theme park located in Veracruz, Mexico. Due to multiple life-taking incidents, the place was abandoned a few years after its opening in 1988, leaving the park to become a desolate land. As Alan is making his way through the haunted location, they spot a Snow White statue, and as he begins to focus on it, this happens. No. No, 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 aguanta, 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 deja enfoque, deja que mi cámara enfoque bien, deja que mi cámara enfoque bien, deja que mi cámara enfoque bien, güey, eso no es el velador. No digas perras mamadas, güey, no digas perras mamadas, güey, perdón, perdón. The statue begins to move on its own, but as they get closer, it's seen on a different location, frozen in place. Could this phenomenon relate to the 1985 Ireland case, where Virgin Mary statues were also seen moving on their own? This is the worst cult-related mass murder since the Jonestown Massacre, but you probably haven't heard about it. 200 plus bodies were recovered from a mass grave and a cult leader is behind their deaths. Over 600 people are still missing as well. It starts with Paul McKenzie, a radical Christian preacher. He opened his own church in 2003 and pretty quickly his teachings became alarming. He attacked other religions and told his followers that public education was evil because it teaches gayism and lesbianism. He also instructed pregnant women to avoid medical attention and give birth simply with the help of God because doctors are evil. Within a decade, Pastor McKenzie's following had grown so large that he had a compound. In 2017, authorities raided the compound and found that 43 children were living there and being denied an education. He was charged for running an unregistered facility and took a plea bargain. In 2019, authorities shut down his Good News International Church. That was the name of his church which is ironic. So Pastor McKenzie responded by purchasing land in the Chacohola forest and moved all of his followers there, isolating them further from their friends and family, just like Jim Jones did in the 1970s before forcing his followers to drink cyanide-laced flavor aid. And this is when Pastor McKenzie started preaching a deadly message. The world was coming to an end in August of 2023, and Satan would rule the world for a thousand years. Thus, his followers needed to starve themselves and their children to death so they could meet Jesus in heaven before that day came. The the mass starvation plan had three phases. First the children, then the young men and women, then the rest of the men, and then Pastor McKenzie himself, last. So how did this finally come to the attention of authorities? Well, in mid-March, weeks before Doomsday, a local went to the police and said that his brother and sister-in-law had starved their children to death. Officers found the couple's sons in shallow graves. The third son was rescued, but he was weak and starving. The third son also told police his parents had starved them and then suffocated his brothers to death. Pastor McKenzie was immediately arrested because he was the one who forced this couple to starve their children, but he was able to post a 73 US dollar bail and return to base camp. And that is when the doomsday date changed, from August 2023 to April 15th, 2023, so within a few weeks of his return. This is a quote from a former cult member who was kicked out for drinking water during the starvation phase. The moment he got back, he called a meeting, said the world was ending and therefore we the chosen ones needed to go ahead before the world ends and problems come. Pastor McKenzie told his followers, quote, as your leader McKenzie, I will be the last one. I will close the door, you chosen ones will proceed before me, and we will all meet with Christ. On April 13th, police got his tip and went to McKenzie's camp where they found 15 of his followers starving and dying on the ground. 
four of them were so emaciated that they died on the way to the hospital. Paul McKenzie was arrested the following day, and police started looking deeper into the forest. Within a week, they were exhuming mass graves. The death toll has reached 336. Most of them are children. The worst internet. Yo, they let this man out on $73 bail? Like, what did they expect was going to happen when they let him out, man? You gotta watch these cults and these false prophets, for real. Trends to ever exist. Part 1. In 2012, the cinnamon challenge took the internet by storm. Th hey, y'all remember that stupid stuff, man? Trying to eat a whole spoonful of cinnamon. People out here choking. Not gonna lie, I tried it myself, y'all, and it wasn't a good experience. Thousands of people were uploading videos of them trying to swallow a spoonful of cinnamon, but little did anyone know is that this was extremely dangerous. Most people ended up inhaling the cinnamon instead of swallowing. This could cause an allergic reaction and affect your ability to breathe. Because of this challenge, multiple people ended up passing away. The Blue Whale Challenge was a game that gave people tasks to do within a 50-day period. It would start off innocent, but slowly get more and more disturbing. This would all lead up to the last day where the game would ask the person to unalive themselves. Unfortunately, over a hundred people passed away because of this trend. This bridge is cursed. So in the 1780s, Edinburgh Council wanted to build South Bridge, a wildly unpopular project that tore down three adjacent roads and kicked many families out on the street. How did the council soften the block? Put a shopping centre in. They put a shopping centre in. But as it was being built, people were not convinced it would be safe and refused to ever use it. The council was in crisis, so drafted in a well-respected local lady, who everyone seemed to go nuts for, to be the first person to walk over it. But she died died two days before it opened and the council was plunged back into crisis. So in sheer desperation, the Edinburgh council just stuck her dead body inside a coffin and had a funeral hearse drive over the bridge instead. Now the local people weren't too into this and thought it was a bit of a bad omen for the bridge, which kind of came true as within years, the shops beneath it all moved out and the illegal establishments moved in, creating a cesspit for crime, gambling, body snatching and all round bad vibes. That just looks scary. Who would go down there? For the last three years, a man on TikTok has been documenting the bone-chilling haunting in his home. His account is filled with these unexplainable captures with new paranormal evidence being posted sporadically. Well, just a couple weeks ago, he managed to catch something that terrified him to his core. Go lie down. It's okay. Lie down. Stay. Been doing this all morning and I don't have time for this today. No, Stop. bro, I'm good. Hey, buddy. I'm out of here. I don't. I got too much going on. You gotta Look. cut it out. Uh-uh. Oh, uh-uh. Okay. Time to move. I'm just gonna set it up. Paper towels, and we'll just let the phone roll. Oh. I asked you if you got a time to go. Look, what is that? Tell me y'all seen that. Calm down. He's okay. Tell me y'all see that. Please, not today. Just, holy cow. Bro, lock the door. Put something in front of the door or something. No way. Little buddy. The door to his Man. basement repeatedly opened on its own. But as he set his phone down to record, a terrifying dark figure can be seen standing on the stairs. This figure continued to open the door, inching closer and closer towards the top step. This ominous pitch black being looks to be the cause of all the strange occurrences over the last three This man was walking through the cemetery when all of a sudden he heard screams coming from an accident ahead. When he got there, no one was there. This is the video. Pay close attention. Accident? People gotta learn to slow down. Lucky they didn't hit none of these tombstones. Real lucky. Hello? You alright? You okay? What the hell? What the fuck is going on here? 
There ain't nobody there. Oh, this? man. Hello? Seemingly innocent photos with disturbing backstories. Part 1. While this may seem like a normal class photo, the backstory is much darker. At the top left, there are two students pointing imaginary firearms at the camera. Their names are Eric Harris and Dylan Claybold. A few months after the photo was taken, Eric and Dylan would walk into Columbine High School and murder 15 Ooh. people. This is the last photo taken of Peyton Lutner just before her two friends attempted to murder her all in the name of the famous creepypasta Slenderman. This stroller belongs to a four-year-old Ukrainian girl named Liza. In July of 2022, her and her mother Irena were hit by a Russian missile. Okay, so I spent a lot of time reading about- Yo, like, I was not expecting that. They said they was hit by a missile. Like, how many times do you hear that? Oh yeah, such and such and her mom got hit by that missile the other day. About the dark side of Disney. And there was this period of time in the Disney parks known as the Dark Ages of Disney. It's known for being the bloodiest time in the park's history. It was a period of time from the mid-90s to the early 2000s where the park decided it wasn't going to maintain the rides anymore. They were only going to fix the rides after an accident happened, which I talk about today on the podcast, but I want to talk about specific incidents. And that's the first big disaster they had, which was the Columbia ship disaster. So on Christmas Eve 1998, this ship was coming into this dock way too fast. And mind you, at the time, staff had been complaining about the ship for a while. It needed maintenance, but the park refused to maintain it. So as the ship's coming in too fast, this employee grabs a rope and ties it to this post. And what happens is the rope gets too taut, the ship keeps moving, and it rips a big metal cleat off the boat. The cleat whips around at like hyper speed towards the crowd and hits Luan Dawson in the face. Mm. He died on the spot from a fractured skull and his wife had to get rushed to the hospital for horrific facial trauma. It was so bad that apparently some of the people that just saw the accident happen had to go to the hospital. But in classic Disney fashion, there was a little bit of a cover up. So these are investigators looking at the dock right after the accident happened, which you'll notice is very clean. And that's because when they arrived, Disney executives brought them all into a conference room for four hours while other Disney employees cleaned up the deck to make it look spotless. It was actually a while be before the that. park had to admit fault and settle with Dawson's family for over $25 million, it's believed. But yeah, there's- Ghost footage. Yo, what? This ain't never seen on camera. They just left her there. What's going on in this video? Chilling facts. Hiking robot designed to travel North America simply on the kindness of strangers was found decapitated two weeks after the project started. More serial killers are born in November than any other month in the year. If you stood on the surface of Mars without a spacesuit, you would pass out within 30 seconds and be unalived in 60. Doctors used to believe infants couldn't feel pain. In 1987, it was believed that small babies couldn't feel any type of pain until, of course, they performed surgery on one without any anesthesia. Laika the space dog was never meant to come home. After placing Laika in the container, and before closing the hatch, we kissed her nose and wished her bon voyage, knowing that she would not survive the flight. In 1957, the Soviet Union launched Laika the Space Dog into space. She was found astray on the streets of Moscow, researchers later confirming that they never planned to receive her.
This man spent 12 mm. years in a coma. While he was in said coma, he heard everything, including his mother say, I hope you die. The person who invented homework, Robert Neville, invented it in 1905 as a punishment for his students. A man in Washington State found a caterpillar that looks like it has an image of a man's face Yo. on the back. The internet's pretty sure it was Edgar Allan Poe. Like and follow. They were working during the late hours of the night when they see this. A man named Fernando was working at a railway train station when he decides to record a video to send to his family. In the video, as he's walking by the side of the train, he doesn't notice, but what looks like a pale, shadowy figure can be seen. Oh, snap, him. you can see Fernando it. begins to walk faster towards the group. Yeah, it was probably like all type of spirits and stuff watching us all the time and we never notice, right? Because we never look at it and the moment you look at it, it's gone. Mm. He's trying to keep calm after witnessing the figure. If the train wasn't operating at the time, just who or what was that? Never Tell Me The Odds, Part 25. In 2007, a bowhead whale was discovered with the end of a harpoon stuck in its head. It was later mm. found that the harpoon tip dated back to the year 1890 proving that the bowhead whale is the world's oldest known living mammal. Author Lois Duncan wrote many popular crime and suspense novels throughout the 70s and 80s, but she basically stopped writing completely when her own daughter became the victim of an unsolved murder case in 1989. That's Breaking Bad has 62 episodes in total. The 62nd element on the periodic table is samarium, a substance typically used to treat lung cancer. Aerial photographer Robert Haas was taking photos over the Yucatan when he spotted something spectacular. A bunch of flamingos were hanging out in the shape of a giant flamingo. Now that's crazy. In the 1980s, a man suffering from severe OCD shot himself in the head attempting to take oh, his own life. Wow. But instead of killing him, the bullet destroyed the part of his brain that was responsible for the OCD. And he went on to become a straight A college student five years later. Real life oh, human giants. This is Robert Watlow from Illinois. He is the tallest. Yo, so I'm reading this book right now. It's called The Food of the Gods. And in that, man, it just makes me think of these giants, right? You know, what if there's some scientists out here testing some people and they gave somebody a certain substance that allowed them to continue to grow and not grow in spurts like everything else does. Just a constant growth, no curve at all. That's what, man, wouldn't that be crazy if that's what giants were? Man to ever live. He measured 8 feet and 11 inches. Back then, the average American male was only 5 foot 6. Robert Watlow also has the record for the largest hands and feet. All of his clothing, shoes, and even his bed had to be custom made. He would actually charge people money to stand up and show off his massive size, earning the equivalent of $1,000 per day. This is Yao Defen from China. At 7 feet and 8 inches, she is one of the tallest women ever. The average Chinese woman is only 5 foot 3, meaning Yao Defen definitely stands out in a crowd. Yao also weighed 346 pounds. Sadly, Yao passed away in 2012, but we still don't know why. This is- Hey, so, not to sound, okay, but why are the Asian people that's tall named Yao? Anybody gonna be able to tell me that? Sultan Kosin from Turkey. At 8 feet and 3 inches, he is the tallest living person. His height is caused by a tumor in his pituitary gland, causing an excessive amount of growth hormones. In 2013, he married Merv Debo. She is only 5 feet and 8 inches, meaning that this couple has a massive height difference. The English language is not what it looks like. This language is actually a trap. It is said that this language signifies the end of days and that there will be one united language, but we don't know what will it be. Many of us speak English but do not know its actual origin. It's actually a Germanically occult influence language used by Sir Francis Bacon's Shaker cult. Their goal was to introduce witchcraft into our daily life. This cult was responsible for the works of William Shakespeare, which explains why all of the stories have entirely different different writing styles and how they successfully managed to trap us by bringing 1700 new words into the language. Just see how our everyday spellings have been affected by our addiction to Hollywood, which is the wood used by witches and wizards to craft their wands and staff. So be careful of your words, since the Bible warns that blessings and cursings out of the same mouth, this is my brethren on not be, and now you know that. If you see this animal, you need to run seriously! Wait, wait. 
who's ever going to see that animal right there? Like, that looks like an enlarged bumblebee or a hornet or something, but like some mutant hornet. Man, ain't nobody gonna ever see that animal. Bass! There is a new animal on the loose and it is a bumblebee mixed with a fish. And these things are extremely dangerous. They have 59 teeth that are super sharp. And they can fly because they have six wings. So if you see this bumblefish, you need to run seriously fast. But if you follow me right now, you'll be safe forever. So hit follow. Okay. Yo, what's over the gate? Y'all see them hands? Gee. Let's talk about one of the most <laughs> disturbing movies. They bogus. I jumped for real, yo. I'm not even gonna lie. I jumped for real on that one. That I have seen, Hagasusa. This movie is sick. There were times where I honestly needed to look away because I was so uncomfortable. So, just letting you know. Hagasusa is a German movie from 2018 that takes place during the 15th century and is about a woman who is dealing with her mom's very strange death and now has to deal with all the villagers thinking she's a witch. This movie has a 93% on Rotten Tomatoes and a half rating on Letterboxd and IMBD. I'm gonna be honest, this movie's not for everybody. I feel like if you like movies like The Lighthouse or The Witch, you're definitely gonna like this one. This movie has very unconventional horror, so it's not really like jump scare scary. It's more on the creepy side in that the horror is more psychological and disturbing. Disturbing in like very sick ways, okay? Like literally, I'm telling you, beware when you watch this. Okay. So if you want to watch something that has a dreary and dark aesthetic, and will also make you feel extremely uncomfortable at times, like I truly mean it, okay? Like uncomfortable. Check out Hagasusa. I think it's a really interesting horror piece. So just check it out. Check it out. You might regret it, might not. I don't I don't know. I, I liked it though. You know the crazy thing about the Titanic, about what supposedly really happened about it? Hmm. Like, you know, the whole story of the Titanic it sunk because it hit an iceberg, right? Yeah. But the whole time, it was low-key a setup to, like, the richest people in the world. So, at the time, it was, like, early 1900s. The richest people in the world were J.P. Morgan, mm. John Rockefeller, and the Rothschilds. They all wanted a central bank. But the only person that was standing their way it was the richest man in the world. His name was, like, Jacob Astor. But he was the only person that didn't want... Uh, central bank Damn. so they were all on that boat they were all set to sail because it was jp morgan's boat but as they was leaving jp morgan rothschild and rockefeller they left and five days later that's when it sank it hit the iceberg supposedly but people think it might have not been the iceberg but like in the bottom of the ship was like an explosion because there was a hole in it so they think they set him up and even though he was the richest man in the world he couldn't find a boat and he sank with the ship and then a year later that's when they created the federal bank yo sounds like a setup for real grimace has a disturbing origin the original grimace costume is with four arms living in a dark cave and always hungry this design was to show what would happen if you ate too much mcdonald's Whoa, our bro. first grimace was a regular man who won a contest for eating more mcdonald's than anyone else for 10 years straight however his diet took its toll and his body worsened and gives off a scent of ammonia What's more disturbing is that the children he acted with started disappearing, and he also disappeared. When the crew visited his home, they found an abandoned barn filled with McDonald's wrappers and a dis- Blood curdling facts that you wish you- Yo, what happened? Okay, I guess it just don't- Blood curdling facts that you wish you never knew. When a person is electrocuted via electric chair, they feel absolutely everything. They're completely aware of their body being deep fried in real time. And one person who survived the first round of electrocution said it tasted like cold peanut butter. As you're watching this video, your internal organs are constantly moving around inside you. Your armpit is where most of your important nerves in your arms are, so if you stab it, it will leave your arm completely useless. Ted Bundy, the serial killer used to work at a suicide hotline. Scafism was a form of ancient torture where someone's body was tied between two boats and they were covered in milk and honey, and bugs and other animals would feast on their body for days. Cotard's delusion is a rare condition where people literally think they're dead, and many of them ask to be taken to a cemetery to be with other dead people. There are over 200 dead bodies on Mount Everest and they're used as checkpoints by climbers. Huh. If you die inside of your house, it's very common that your pet is going to want to eat you. You wouldn't do that, would you? 
Neil Armstrong's footprints on the moon don't match up with the ones on his astronaut suit. What's going on with that, y'all? Something ain't adding up. I don't do well with pictures like this. Surprisingly, they make me sick to my stomach. This photo was taken by Marissa Hill as she sat in her bed helpless as a stranger left her hallway bathroom. In the backstory I could find from this photo, she had heard a noise coming from the hallway bathroom and thought it was her husband who was actually outside at the time. But when an unknown person came out of that bathroom, she was mid-picture and realized it was not him pranking her. An unknown elderly man came out of her bathroom and she sat there completely paralyzed with fear. According to her, she sat there in complete silence because he did not seem to notice her and then he had just exited the house and by the time she got up and got her husband called 911, this person was gone. Photos taken That's before crazy. disaster. This is the last photo of Marilyn Monroe. Let's enhance it with sharp AI. Celebrity photographer George Barris visited her in June 1962. Little did he know that would be the last time he saw her. No one could imagine she would unilive free herself. Yo, yo, forget all the picture and all that in Marilyn Monroe. I need this Sharp AI app. What? You see how Sharp it just made that photo? I got some old blurry photos that I need to put on this app right now because that was crazy. Only weeks later, yeah. on August 4th, 1962, he captured her beauty on camera one last time. But who knows what she was really thinking about. Do you guys remember the two girls who recorded their murder before their bodies were found near a wooded area? Trying to identify the suspect in this photo and this voice. Yeah, yeah. On February 2017, 13-year-old Abby Williams and 14-year-old Liberty German were walking along Delphi Historic Trails, Indiana, when they snapped these photos right before they went missing that evening. Why would you let your 13 and 14-year-old girls go hiking in some random remote spot like that by themselves? Did that make sense to y'all? Because it don't make sense to me. I wouldn't do it. Police suspected that the man in this photo was involved in their disappearance and murder, but they didn't know who this man was. The girls' bodies were found the next day very close to where they took those photos. And police received multiple tips that the man in the recording and photo on Liberty's phone was 50-year-old Richard Allen. Richard was arrested and charged, but he pleaded not guilty and kept his innocence. But recently, on April 3rd of this year, Richard called his wife Kathy and confessed to murdering both Abby and Liberty. Investigators believe that Richard forced the girls down a hill and took their life with a 40 caliber. Hey, so there's some music playing over in the background. I'm guessing that maybe their audio might have got. I don't know, copyrighted or something, so let's just go ahead and read these captions. Thing. And the, the theory is that there's like two entry main entryways on the north and the south pole. Yeah. And that's how they get in. Okay. <laughs> people no, but some people even say that it could be aliens. Like that's where the aliens are coming out. Like that they actually are flying out of there. We gotta cut this. No. This is getting ridiculous. No. Hey, he tripping. He tripping because hey, I could see it. He talking about it's ridiculous. We gotta cut this. For what? What you gotta cut it for? There is a true hollow earth theory out here. There are books that people have written, you know, uh, Journey to the Middle of the Earth. There's a whole anime movie that, uh, what is it, Journey to Agartha, you know, about them traveling to this, the inner earth. It's just crazy. Even this book I just read recently, The First Men in the Moon, right? The moon had caverns, and at the middle of the moon, there's a, a, a ocean, a sea. 
you know, and that's how they traveled and got to other caverns. And why can't that be here as well? So I don't know, y'all. There's so many different theories. You got the flat earth theory. You got the hollow earth theory. You got the cubed earth theory. You got the globe earth theory. Which one is it? No, no. <laughs> Boiling as a method of execution involves causing the death of an individual by immersing oh, no. them in a liquid that has been heated to a boiling point. Oh, no. Who want humans this too? form of execution was commonly carried out by utilizing a large container such as a cauldron or a sealed kettle filled with substances like water, oil, tar, or tallow. A hook and pulley system were often employed to lower the victim into the boiling liquid. During the time of the Roman Emperor Nero, numerous Christians were subjected to this gruesome fate and boiled alive in oil. In England, a significant legal development occurred in 1531 during the reign of King Henry VIII. The ninth statute passed in that year, specifically in cases of murder by poisoning, mandated that boiling alive be the prescribed form of capital punishment. In 16th century Japan, a notorious figure named Ishikawa Gomon, who was regarded as a semi-legendary bandit, faced a similar fate. Alongside his son, he was condemned to be boiled alive in the 1590s. Hey, so this is in Japan, right? But my man's clearly got an afro. What that tell y'all right there? Under the orders of Toyotomi Hideyoshi. That was Afro Samurai. Welcome to part 17 of The Sun Vanished. Let's see if they steal his account. TSV decides to meet up with them and post a video on it. Both of these videos were wild. What's this? Oh my gosh. This mob hiding? Oh no. That's right, that person is Danyan. But listen to the conversation that TSV posted between him and Danyan now. You look well. You look good. I am. You have to be I'm not going with you. You have to. Saying. They're not hurting that. They're not hurting you. Just give them the account and this is all over. You're hurting on Daniel. Maybe not the Daniel you've been thinking about while I've been gone. But it's me. And you would have apologized. Tell me what I did that didn't help you get here, and then I'll be sorry. I wish we hadn't been separated for so long. I also wish you would come happily, and you're letting me down as I'm sure I'm letting you down. It's mutual. You don't know what's best for me anymore. You always liked how stubborn I was. I got smarter. It looks like Danyan is on the people's side now. Also, is it just me or did it sound like water was dripping off of Danyan? I swear I could hear water droplets. I slept in the car last night and cried. Danyan's a mess. He looks wrong, he sounds wrong, he's gross and wet. TSV's hoping Tucker's okay from the video he posted. I feel at peace now, like my head is lighter. TSV is contemplating going to We the People now. TSV is also experiencing headaches and thumping in the back of his head when Danyan's gone. Comment for part 18. 
what is going on with that situation a guy exposed himself on live tv when he was like rapping mm. he, he's on live television his first line was like i <laughs> killed my very and i buried her in the dirt mm. and everyone behind him was like wait what, what did he say? say he grabs the mic his last word he kind of mumbled it oh, I think I'm I'm out, I'm looking for me. yeah and then he drops the mic you know when you're rapping like with your homies you say some things and it's just joking around yeah, like, yeah you yeah. know y and w melly says i'll pull up with the choppers like my homies and yeah shit like that. yeah you can see in the back of the video like everyone's like oh, but he's really feeling this shit. <laughs> he's like for real about this right his neighbors also chimed in they mm. said i seen robert one day walk out of his house yeah. with a body bag what the police do since this is on live television they get that guy and they start investigating mm -hmm. his every move they find his car one day and in his car is a everybody gave himself up in a rap song y'all 911 what's the location of the emergency please help me yes what address do you need help I'm not on an address I'm on the road I'm on the road I need to kill me which road are you on Maya's born in Oregon City okay you have an address? Listen, listen. Come on, Lee. Come on, get a cop here now. Okay, what is, who's trying to kill you? My ex, my husband. He's trying okay. to just like pick a truck. Okay, what? He's trying to kill me. Come on. He's trying to kill What kind of gun does he have? This is crazy. I've already got help coming. I need you to tell me why and what. On plan. I'm on plan. Why? Just a minute. I'm walking. He shot me. Okay, you're on fire at Glenview Court. He shot me. Okay, where did he shoot you? In the chest. In the chest. Oh, wow. He's out of there. I bet she did make that decision after that one. That was First crazy First ever footage video. of Madeleine McKenna after the event. Spotted on 4th of May 2007, one day after her disappearance, this girl had heterochromia and was seen to miles from the crime scene. Hmm? Mr. Cruel case. Hmm, y'all ever heard of the Mr. Cruel case? Never heard of that This one is before. one of the most high profile pedophiles in Hollywood, Jeffrey Jones. You might recognize Jeffrey from a number of movies he's been in, like Ferris Bueller's Day Off, The Hunt for Red October, and Beetlejuice. It's highly ironic to me that in a lot of the movies he was in, Jeffrey Jones played the villain, and he ended up being one in real life. So after his career flourished in the late 80s and 90s, let's fast forward to 2002. That year, Jeffrey was arrested for the possession of CP, if you know what I'm talking about, mm. and he was accused by a 17-year-old boy of soliciting him to take mm. nude photos. These charges get even more disturbing when you realize that the young boy who accused Jeffrey of soliciting him to take nude photographs was 14 when the charges were originally brought up and the accusations were made. Jeffrey pleaded no contest to the solicitation. He openly admitted that he had done this horrible thing. But once again, because of legal loopholes, because he admitted to this and pled no contest, that meant that the other CP charges were completely dropped. And what happened to Jeffrey after all this? Well, he got five years probation. He also had to go through counseling and register as a sex offender. And yes, if you're wondering, to this day, he is still registered as a sex offender. You can find the records of all of this online. But it seems like Jeffrey didn't want to be known as a sex offender throughout his life. But it seems like Jeffrey didn't want to be known as a sex offender for the rest of his life, and he would end up being arrested twice for failing to update his sex offender registration. And in 2006, when working on the set of the movie Who's Your Caddy, the community of Aiken, South Carolina, where the film was being filmed, complained to the government and complained that a sex offender was on set. 
This was due to the fact that families had been invited to visit the scent with their children and they had no idea that there was a predator lurking amongst the crew. Mm -hmm. To this day, a lot of people don't know what this guy has done and even Justin Bieber posted a photo with him a couple years back and a lot of people were obviously a little mad about that. And I think it's important to realize that these people are everywhere. They're your friends, your family, your neighbors. They're even celebrities. And at the end of the day, even the people that you look up to and have seen a million times on the silver screen could be the worst people you've ever met in real life. If you like these types of stories, give me a follow or listen to my wife and I's podcast, Murder in America. This is one of the most horrific stories I've come across, and that takes a lot. It's the story of Ossie Sanchez and baby Scotty. Viewer discretion is advised, it's graphic and it's disturbing. Uh -oh. already finished? Ossie was a 33-year-old former healthcare worker in San Antonio, Texas. She'd undergone psychiatric treatment for schizophrenia and she'd been in and out of psychiatric wards for mental health problems. She was suffering from these problems when she met her boyfriend Scott, who was also in the healthcare profession and also suffered from schizophrenia. Ossie fell pregnant and in July 2009 she gave birth to a son who the couple named Scotty. Scott said she was a brilliant mother, she breastfed her son and cared for him like any mother would. Ottie absolutely doted on her son, but after his birth she began suffering from postnatal depression. Her mental health declined and she was admitted into hospital on July 20th. She was released less than a day later, despite the fact that she'd refused to take medication to help with her intrusive thoughts. She told her boyfriend Scott that she was suffering with PND and schizophrenia and she'd be taking Scotty and going to live with her mum, sister and nieces. Five days later, she brought Scotty to see his dad, but after asking for a copy of the birth certificate, she flew into a rage, took Scotty in his car seat, threw it into the passenger seat of the car, and drove off. Mm. Scott reported this instance to the police, fearing for his son's safety, but the police merely marked it down as a disturbance. By now, Otty was suffering from postpartum psychosis. She'd expressed to officers and medical professionals that she was hearing voices, and she feared she may harm her son. Despite all of her concerns, Scotty was left in her care, and on July 26, 2009, the unthinkable happened. They be asking so many questions, man. Three weeks old? Three weeks old? Not even three weeks old. What did she do to him? Or her? She stabbed him. There's blood all over the head. There's, I don't know. Where is it? Just say that. Say that. Say that. I'll be fair. I'm sorry. First of all, where is it? She's just sitting on the couch. She's just gone crazy last night. She was hearing voices. She kept bringing me the baby, and finally she calmed down, and I took her back to the baby. And then now I just woke up to her screaming. Okay, how old is the baby? Not even three weeks old. She's, 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 the baby's dead. The baby's dead. Jeez, somebody call. Okay, there are other ways, but you're okay. Yeah, they're playing the whole car. When officers Yo. arrived at the home, they saw a scene that was so horrific they've had to seek counselling. Otty had used three bladed weapons to stab, kill, dismember and decapitate her three week old son. She'd then eaten parts of his brain, his foot and his nose, saying that the devil had told her she had to do this in order to kill the demon inside her and stop an apocalypse. Otty had then stabbed herself and slashed her own throat. 
Otty was arrested and charged with capital murder, but after being examined by three separate doctors who all determined she was legally insane, she was found not guilty by reason of insanity. Otty was admitted to a state mental institution where she'll stay until the jury determines that she's not a risk to herself or others. Probably never going to determine that, yo. Wow, that's the best for that one. Yeah, show me some creepy masks. Halloween and dressing up like this, don't they? This is where it starts, y'all. Look, y'all. These scary and creepy TikTok videos definitely messed me up, I'm not gonna lie. And I would suggest you probably not watch them before bed. But if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and until next time, YouTube, peace.